Hello on YouTube, I'm the Tothman and welcome back to some more FM experiments. It's episode 3 of my Using TV Money to Improve a Nation series. It is, however, a new nation. It just would not work with Malta at all. Um, it, nothing happened, reputation didn't go up, coefficients didn't go up, they had loads of money in the bank, just did absolutely nothing with it. So we're going to try with Holland. Now, the reason why I've said to try with Holland are the fact, because if we go into the nation's club efficiency, they're round about here. Now, if we go into the qualification places, you can see the low end of this. Now, I could have done it with either Russia, Ukraine, Turkey, or, Hol or, or Switzerland, should I say. But I wanted to do it with uh, uh, with Holland, because they've only got one team in the second qualifying round, one in the third. And I want to see if we can improve this from 11th, and maybe even get into the top three. That's the main aim. There was another problem, however. The... Um, the editor I used to do the Malta save um, to do the TV money for that worked an absolute treat. However, when it comes to doing Holland, it just did not work at all. That was a problem. <laughs> that was a real problem, of course, because I can't actually make it work. Now, the only other way I can do this, guys, is to go into the club details here, to go into the finances and stick another knot on there, guys. That's pretty much the only way I can do this. So I'm simulating the giving them... Um, 100 million in uh, TV money because it just won't work through the editor, which is a damn shame, but what can we do? So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do that right now, I'm going to go through all of these teams, every team that's in um, Holland, I will go ahead and give them all 100 million pounds as if they've given, uh, they've got their TV money. <sighs> and see if we can't make this work the second time around. We're actually the 10th biggest league in the world, the Eredivis, which is great. And we'll see if we can improve that above the Ukrainian, Belgian and Russian counterparts. And maybe even get into the Liga uh, and Portuguese Premier League. I can't believe that the Liga uh, is not above the Portuguese Premier League. But there you go. Uh, so I will see you guys very shortly. Well, I've gone through every single team and given them all £100 million to be precise. Exactly £100 million and no more. Now, the one thing that actually struck me most about this league is the little amount of money that the people below the big people, so say for example Feyenoord, uh, Feyenoord, Feyenoord, I don't know how you pronounce it, Ajax, uh, FC Twente, they've got a little bit of money as well, but other than that, everybody has no money. <laughs> I mean, literally some people have got like hundreds of thousands of pounds, and this is, this is surprising how little amount of money that these guys have in comparison to the likes of the Premier League and, uh, you know, the big leagues that are above them. So this will be interesting to see. Can they use their reputation to now bring in uh, new players? Well, that is the, uh, the precise thing about this, uh, this experiment. Can we improve a nation by giving them TV money? So to speak, this is not exactly TV money, but we're just using it as TV money. So we'll see. We will see indeed. But anyways, guys, I'm going to now fast forward one year into the future. Um, nothing might happen in this transfer window because I don't think the transfer budgets uh, will get shifted and sorted out until next season. So probably 2017 will be the big year for th for teams getting the big players. Maybe even when it comes around to January of 2017 not quite sure but we're going to go ahead and see so i will see you guys in 2017 well one season ahead and all shit has broken loose in the era divis they've actually dropped down to 14th this is a massive drop which made me think what's the coefficients like that was no good either as they've dropped right down to 13th this means they've lost their automatic group stage playoff, uh, well, the, their team, they've completely lost it. They've got uh, straight into the qualifying stage three there, and then they've got the best players playoff to get through, and then the group stage. I mean, that this is, this is unheard of. <laughs> this is absolutely unheard of. Holland have completely dropped off the face of the earth when it comes to uh, the coefficients. However, it is the start. Let's just take a look at the uh, the transfers here. So let's go back one season. Um, Ridge Ciano, so from AZ Alkmaar out to Sporting, from Ajax to Arsenal, from PSV to West Brom, all the biggest ones have gone out of the league 
to somewhere else. That is not good. We've got some people going from Heron Veen, though, which is, of course, an area of his side. Uh, FC Utrecht, you know, all that sort of stuff, to, to Barcelona. Um, this isn't good, uh, basically. This is not good at all. So, hopefully, we can improve this this season. As you can see, we've started this. So, it's from uh, Freddy Guarin, from Chenua to Ajax, from PSV to Inter, another one there. But Rui Fonte to Ajax, big, big, big money for this guy, for these teams. Big money going into um, uh, Dutch League, the Eredivisie, which is great. So, to PSV, to Feyenoord, to Twente, to Ed Odenhaag to uh, Arsenal, unfortunately, to Groningen, to PSV. So we've got a lot of people coming into the league and hopefully this will improve the league uh, when it comes to uh, the Europe and so on and so forth. I knew that we'd probably have a dodgy first season. This second season, though, fingers crossed, we can do a little better. I'm going to go through all these teams and we're going to give them another £100 million to spend and uh, we'll see where they are in 2018. Welcome back, guys. It is the 12th, uh, 12th, <laughs> it's the 20th of July, 2018. Let's take a look. Error div. There it is. Uh, we've gone back up to 12th in the competition reputation, which is absolutely brilliant. That's nice to, uh, that's nice to know. Hopefully, that means that we've gone up in uh, the coefficients we have. We've gone back up to 12th in the coefficients as well. Let's have a quick look, actually. Uh, look along. Yeah, look at that. One. Oh no, that's this season. Last season we only got a 5.1 season before that. We've actually had some really, really bad results. Um, last season wasn't that fantastic either, but we're back into the group stages, which is, should hopefully be uh, be good for us. But it does mean that we are back into, bang, straight into the group stage. No messing around, straight into the group stage. Absolutely wonderful. So let's take a look Go all the way back to the Eredivis and we'll take a look at the transfers for last season. Big money. Jerry St. Just went from Heronveen, which is of course an Eredivis, to PSV for 12.75 million. Going out of PSV, Hector Moreno from PSV to Quan Jian. Um, of course, Chinese side, a lot of money. Uh, but the big thing is Rui Fonte going from Braga, which is a Portuguese Premier League side, which is the people that we're fighting against, basically, to Ajax for 9.75 million could rise to 15.75. Uh, Domagoj Dom 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 Vida from Dinamo Kiev, which is a Ukrainian Premier League. Again, another guy who uh, these sorts of teams that we're trying to get uh, above to Ajax for 11.5 million could rise to 14.25. One going from PSV to Inter, um, one going from Freiburg, which is a German side, to FC Utrecht for 11.25, and Shenua to Ajax, um, Freddy Guarin for 10.75 million. So some big some big names there. Some big, well, I say big names, not really that big of a name, but big uh, big deals for the Eredivisie. I mean, if you look at the season before, 7.5 million was the biggest deal, and that was going out to Sporting. Coming in, um, coming in to the league was AZ Alkmaar from Heronveen, so it was still in the league at 3 million. So, you know, there's that as well. And if we go forwards one more season to this season from Watford, to AZ Alkmaar, Isaac's success. What a, what a ledge name that is. Hopefully he will be a success. 16 million rising to 27 million. Uh, Groningen to Heronveen. Uh, AZ to Feyenoord, 20 to Feyenoord. Ajax to Vitesse. Zwolten. And it, it seems that the, most, the more money you sort of pump into this, the, least, uh, the, the less amount of teams from abroad um, actually will sell to you. I, I, it seems that way. Um, that one is another Eredivisie side. Munchen Lyons, that's the German side. Ajax, Heracles, and they're all doing deals with each other. I mean, Sparta, that's another Eredivisie. They're all doing deals with each other. West Brom there. So there's, you know, I'd like to see a bit more from outside of the Holland, uh, of the Eredivisie, coming into the Eredivisie, mainly. But there's the big one here, Isaac's success, £16 million. But that is this season, so this could all change. Bigger deals might actually happen. So we're improving. 
very, very well, I say we're improving. We're not improving. We were 10th, let's be honest. We were 11th in the coefficients, 10th in the reputation. We dropped to 14th and 13th, respectively. And then we've gone back up to 12th and 12th. So we just need to keep improving. We need to get some more players in. And we'll see what happens from there and there on. But again, I'm going to go through everything, put in 100 million in, and we'll be back at the end of 2019. We're back. It is 2019, and this is where I would have stopped for this episode. But let's have a quick look. We are still in 11th place, but if we take a look, look at that 10.5. We did so much better than what these people did. Actually, we were way up between 6th uh, six and 7th there, behind, just behind Portugal on 14.6 with 10.5. That is a really, really good season, and hopefully it is uh, a sign of things to come, let's say. Hopefully. That would be that would be nice. Let's have a look at the Eredivis. We're back up to tenth in the Eredivis, which is very very nice in the competition reputation. And let's take a quick look at the transfers from last season. So as you can see, big 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 money: seventeen million up to twenty four million, and sixteen million up to twenty seven million. Is it Alkmaar seem to be really going out there and uh, and buying players? So look at that Ebenezer Afori from Stuttgart to AZ Alkmaar, and you can see that we're actually starting to get look one from Fuli. The Chinese Super League, Aaron, uh, Aaron Zahavi, where did he used to play? Maccabi Tel Aviv, then has gone to uh, uh, to the 17 million. That seems like a lot of uh, a lot of bloody money for that guy. Uh, how good is he? Aaron Zuli, where, where are you? Is he even playing for these? <laughs> I can't see him. Oh, there he is, Zahavi, not Zahuli. Uh, so he's at 145 on current ability, actually. So he's, a, he's better than uh, the current players that they've got. So you can't fault them for that. They're improving the side, which is really, really good. Two Ajax, Watford to AZ. We've got Groningen to uh, uh, Heronveen, Sparta to Heronveen, AZ to Feyenoord, Utrecht to Ajax, Stuttgart. That's another one from the outside of the league. To AZ, Sion, that's another one from outside the league. To uh, FC20 for 8 million. One from Las Palmas to uh, Neck Breda. Oh no, Neck Neck Nijmegen. <laughs> uh, one from Twente, one from Lille, which is another good one. Uh, Lille to Feyenoord, 7.5 million. And we're starting to see other teams in here, which is really, 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 really good. And I like that. I like that indeed. So what I'm going to do is uh, next episode we're going to come back. We're going to see if we can improve again. We took a big hit in that first season, a massive hit. And if it wasn't for that money, I don't think they would have improved. Uh, I don't think they would have bounced back so much what they, what they have done. We were 10th and we're 11th in the coefficients. We're exactly where we were when we started uh, this this particular episode. 10th in reputation, 11th in coefficients, but we're much in a much, much better place. Next episode, we should see our reputation rise and we should see our coefficients rise along with that once we get rid of the rubbish coefficient that we just had. If we can get some more tens, that would be really, really nice. So if you're enjoying this episode, guys, and you want to make a, uh, a suggestion on the next series, please go ahead and feel free to do so in the comments section below. I will take a look and see uh, what, I've, what I would think, what is possible for me to do. It would be great. And until next time, I've been the Softman as always. Stay safe.